The trek back to the vehicles was quiet and thoughtful. We started the ride back toward Vehicle Wash. So we know there's nothing in this area, or hasn't been, for a while. At the wash, Greyhawk found another smuggler's jug and emptied it. Okay, Father, I thought that you say you are at our... That's what we said. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what we said. A quick examination of the wash under Interstate 8 found no sign of recent activity. He was Greyhawk on that. Copy, so what is going to be your targeted destination from there? We were returning to the FOB to tighten the exhaust manifold of the Jeep before continuing to scout for sign in a different location. He is just going to go up that... We found a place where a vehicle had clearly broken the fence and continued to the interstate. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. What's that? He uh, just crossed that road. Okay, well, we, we're going to stop up at the camp for a few minutes anyway. See if we can't tighten this up. And then we're calling back because. Uh, you know, the sheriff's department went that way. And that's kind of where I wanted to set up. I don't see any reason to set up over here at all. None. I don't either. None. We paused to observe two climbers, presumably militiamen, ascending Antelope Peak. Clearly, Antelope Peak is an important high point in controlling Vehicle Valley. We made a brief pause at the FOB to tighten the exhaust manifold and wash the windshield. There's another bottle. That wasn't there the other day when I was out here. That's the spot right there. There's even bushes right by the highway. Yeah. The scouting patrol moved west on an old BLM road just inside the Sonoran Desert National Monument, south of Interstate 8. The road became a trail and we continued on. With Squaw Tits Mountain in sight, we halted. That really is the mountain's name. The Sentinels began reconnoitering west of the FOB in the Bighorn area, south of Interstate 8. Once again, the Sentinels found no sign of recent illegal activity. Suddenly, someone hears something. Yeah. 
the sentinels go in search of the source of the sound. Again, disappointment. Nothing was found. At another wash, a gray sweat jacket was found, hanging on a fence. Greyhawk investigated. Within the last 45 minutes, they were in here. Okay, where's my GPS? He recorded the location on his GPS. Okay, this is mile mile marker. Uh, oh, let's leave that on. Mile marker. I think it's mile marker 137. About three miles from the base camp. There's a there is a mile marker right up on the road. That means we're about four miles from the little house down here. Yeah. Okay. I thought maybe this road might take us down there because we've got too many washes. So what we'll do is go back out, go back to that house, and get you know where the where we were last year. Yeah. In that area on that in that uh, wash, yeah. I think we'll go check no, that, that out. We walk, that wash takes you out to another yeah. culvert that Russell we found all the bags. Oh yeah. Well let's see if we can't go clean up. Maybe we get enough clothes to give the goodwill. <laughs> Load them up. Yeah,